Today's guest is given a speed challenge a little different to what he's used to. Formula E racing driver Lucas Degrassi is joining us. This is Game On. <laughs> Lucas, thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Game On. Where are you now? Because you're not home in Monaco, are you? It's my pleasure to be here. I am in Brazil. Um, actually, I was born and raised here. I, live in, I have been living in Monaco in Europe for more than 15 years. But during the pandemic, I brought my family here and I'm home since the beginning of March. So why did you make the decision to move from Monaco over to Brazil? Um, because it all started in Italy, at least in Europe. Uh, and Italy got pretty, pretty bad very quickly. And Monaco is very close to Italy. So my decision was like, okay, I had a race in Morocco just on the weekend that Italy was getting bad. So directly from the race, I brought all the family here. Plus here I have a farm, I have more space, I have more structure. So it was easier um, to, to get the family in a, in a comfortable space here. Monaco is everything very tiny, very compact. How is it to be home? The good thing about this is that I can see my parents much more often, my brother. And uh, even if we have to like keep some distance and I have to like be very careful on how, how do I see them. Uh, at least I'm more with my, my little boy and with my family, but uh, uh, it's a bit strange uh, having been able to travel for, for that long. I haven't, haven't done that for the past 10 years or so. I know how you feel. <laughs> yeah. So what's happened with the races then? Yeah, races um, are the same as entertainment, the same as everything else. It's, everything is halted. Um, we don't have any expectations of having... Uh, races with the public, at least until a vaccine is uh, widely spread and in use. So um, the plan is maybe some races uh, second semester, so beginning of August, mid-August, but with closed doors. Well, with motorsports, we can do that. It's a, different from basketball or other sports. Um, we, as, a, as an athlete, we don't see the crowd that well because we're racing cars at a few hundred miles per hour. So it's 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 bad, but it's not that bad. Uh, and I hope we can get racing very quickly. Otherwise, it's going to be a wasted year for, for the sport. Well, it has been already, but um, I guess sports entertainment are second priority or third priority. Of course, we need to get schools back. We need to get everything uh, back to normal before we can think about um, entertainment and sports. Oh, that was our first buzzer, which means that it is time for our quarantine quiz. This is where we get to find out a little bit more about what Lucas has been up to during this quarantine period. Okay, okay, let, let's do that. <laughs> Give me the first answer that comes into your head when I say these two things. PJs or jeans? Jeans. <laughs> Cooking or takeout? Cooking. Shower or a quick splash? Uh, shower. Hulu or Prime? Neither. A Prime, maybe. A little bit. Netflix. You're a Netflix person. Okay. Yeah. Popcorn or ice cream? Neither. Also, I have to keep my weight. Otherwise, I don't fit in the car. But <laughs> between both, ice cream. All right. Drugs or alcohol? Uh, probably alcohol much more. Because, um, as you know, in, in racing, you have a, a very tight anti-drug control. And... Um, we can drink a little bit, but we have to keep fit. You just spray all the champagne when you're on the podium at the <laughs> You don't drink it, do you? <laughs> Music or books? Books. I, I, I've been reading quite a lot. FaceTime or Zoom? Definitely Zoom. We are in Zoom now, so uh, it has been more popular. Weights or yoga? Weights, definitely. Actually, for me, running more than weights, but uh, not a big fan of yoga. Um, peace and quiet or a party? Lately, qu quiet. Uh, there is no party you can do, but I think in normal life, a little bit more uh, party guy. A daily walk or a run? Run. You answered that one. <laughs> TV or film? Film. I don't watch TV. Productive or procrastinate? More. Try to be more productive. Grounded or anxious? Grounded. And then trim or grow? You can see it's kind of both, but yeah, uh, Trim. You look That's pretty trim, trim, actually, to be honest. Yeah, 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 exactly. So I just trimmed the other day because I had a very important call with someone. So it's, it's just keeping trying to look okay. <laughs> the next buzz is going off already, which means it is now time to go head to head in the game of your choice. You're going to see on the screen seven different games and you get to choose which one you want to play. What's it going to be? Let's go with uh, charades. 
Okay. Let's do it. Can I say pass as many times as I want? Or, yes. <laughs> I just go, pass, pass, pass. You won't get any points that way. Okay, got it, got it, got it. The time starts now. Movie. One word. Short word. No. Fat. Um, fat, fat, exploding, balloon. Uh, expanding, ball, money ball, um, huge, uh, grand, uh, big, yes, big, um, okay, movie, one word, flying, top gun. How do I know you get it right? Uh, what is this? Like a, like a albatross. I don't know. Do something else. <laughs> airplane. Falling. The airplane. Titanic. Uh, There's <laughs> 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 the timer. I got it too. <laughs> man. It was not so bad. <laughs> yeah, the front of the boat. <laughs> okay, got it. Got it. Okay, was, uh, was a good guess. My time starts now. Movie. Two words. A driver. Driving. Driver. Uh, racing driving. Racing driving. Oh, that movie about um, Le Mans. Oh, I forgot the name of it. Oh, Le Mans, Le Mans, Le Mans, Le Mans. Okay, go, go. Film. Uh, it's, it's, um, Titanic, sailing, flying. <laughs> flying, crash. Um, a crash. Um, I don't know what you're doing. Flying, crashing, <laughs> <laughs> spinning, an airplane going out of a, a tornado. Um, <laughs> the movie about, well, how many words? <laughs> okay. What was okay. That? Yeah, the name is the name is uh, Sully. Uh, the, the, I was right. The name is Sully. The miracle on the the Hudson, but it's a complex movie. That's why I'm very competitive. I know, but that's why I asked you to come on Game On because we need we need some sportsmanship going. <laughs> okay, got it, got it. Okay. You've been watching okay. a lot of movies during this quarantine period. To be honest, no. Actually, just uh, Bianca just told me that uh, the last one we watched was uh, the Le Mans movie, and uh, just before that was Joker. And, and so, what have you been doing? You said you've not been eating chocolate or you know sweets. Been looking after your weight, and so have you been managing to kind of keep up with your normal regime? Because I think people don't remember that racing car drivers have such a rigorous kind of workout routine that they have to maintain. Um, yeah, that's correct. Uh, uh, racing drivers uh, are often seen as, um, let's say, um, uh, in movies like smoking or doing this type of stuff. Currently, racing drivers are very, very fit. You have to go through a very tough regime. At the moment, I'm just trying to maintain my fitness. But in a, in a pre-season workout, we're training two, three hours a day. And it's, it's pretty strict. And as we cannot practice with a car every day, like other sports, like tennis, we are... Um, all the time in the gym or running a lot of the racing drivers are triathletes electric motors and the environment is something that you're very passionate about so how do you feel that the, the planet's benefited from this stay at home um it's hard to say because um i think a, a lot of people have finally understood the price and the benefit of having no pollutions in their cities um, you are from los angeles i'm in sao paulo mexico city london uh, New York, and people are trying to, are now in the, maybe in the first time in 30, 40 years, having a real taste of what zero pollution or very low pollution looks like and feels like. And uh, we can have a, a, a world or a city or a future in which we can still, of course, move around like we used to do and have no pollution. We just have to drive electric cars. And so that's why I think the, the people will understand better and will see Everybody. Another alarm, I know. I know what well, I know it's, you're very passionate about it. You drove an electric car just very quickly uh, on the Antarctic, on the Arctic ice caps. Uh, uh, 
Yes, I, I drove. It's on YouTube. Um, it was the first time ever we drove an electric race car on the Arctic and it was an amazing experience. So you did that to raise awareness of climate change? Yeah, exactly. To promote the, the, that uh, internal combustion engines, they, they, they help with global warming uh, and air pollution. And I think both are, of course, correlated. But people now during the pandemic are feeling much more the air pollution. So if you can drive an electric car um, and help the, the health of everyone that lives uh, in the city. It's time to play our final game, which is the time tower. So to build the time tower, I, you have got to put the gloves on that I asked you to bring with you and build as big a tower as possible in the shortest amount of time. So you should have brought with you six pence, some tape or a of pens, perfect, a small sanitizer and a cookie to balance on the top. Okay. Now the cookie's got to be standing on the very top, balancing for at least three seconds before we stop the clock, okay? Okay. Are you ready? No. Okay, yes. You have two minutes and 18 seconds to beat. Your time starts now. Do you have any idea how you're going to tackle this? Yeah, more or less. More or less. Okay. But with this glove, it's difficult. I know, well, you chose some difficult gloves there, but they look cool. <laughs> okay, good, good starting point. And you've got some very thick pens as well without even knowing what you had to do. So whilst you're doing that, do you think you can tell us a little bit more about what's happening later on in the year? You said you hope that August you'll be able to do some racing again. Yeah, the plan is to have it uh, in August. Um, the... Um... The first race that's what that's what we heard and how's it going in the season so far i'm fifth in the championship so far so uh at the moment it's everything is going well but uh, not as good as last year so we need to get we need to continue to improve what where did you come last year uh third uh, every championship at the moment so far on the top three so you can you see it? it has been going it's actually higher than you expect so i'm done and then i have to do what with the cookie you have to balance the cookie on the top before we can stop the timer the problem is it's too tall it's done it's done it's done, yeah, it's done. Oh, wait 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 here the cookie yeah hey congratulations one minute 39 seconds not too look, bad look you can you can see the <laughs> the, the tower of fence so let's see how you did on the leaderboard. Well, currently in first place there, Lucas. Doing better Ooh. than you are your season in championship. With the racing gloves. <laughs> They're obviously a lot of standing And still standing and now it's falling. But oh. um, the, the, it's still there. Your prize is that you get to eat the cookie on the top. So enjoy. <laughs> and hopefully that champagne will be yours at the end of the season. This, I, this champagne was the, my first win in Formula E, actually. That's why it's here. Oh, congratulations. That's a great souvenir. And you can see my racing helmet there. Is that your current racing helmet? No, that's, uh, I have about 25 helmets here at home. That's just one. Because the other ones, it gets um, uh, hidden by my wife. Lucas, thank you so much for coming on the show. It's been a real pleasure chatting to you. Thank you very much. Um, like I was trying to say when I was focused here at the pen, um, building the, the tower. Championship might start in August. We have we had our final in New York, in the U.S., but now of course everything has shifted, so we don't know where we're gonna race. But hopefully next year the final is in New York. Uh, championship is called Formula E. I'm an Audi driver. Luis, thank you very much. It's been a big pleasure uh, doing this with you. Good luck with the rest of the championship when it starts up again, and I hope you manage to stay safe and healthy there in Brazil. Thank you. Take bye care. Bye. Be sure to tune in to our next episode of Game On, where we'll be joined by the British sports presenter, Kiri Bloor. Don't miss it. You're watching Game On. Please subscribe, like, comment, follow and share. Trial. That was just a trial. Now we have to do it properly.